Hello guys, Fresh Ollie here again for another video on my gag trainer as we've now gone into version 1.2, 1.3.1 Now in this version there are a few more features for one uh, I didn't actually make a video on the tune up feature which I'll show in this video and the fact that now it's invisible you can't notice it here I am at the moment using an account here not this account obviously um, as you can see <laughs> it's killing the cogs but it's completely invisible now this implements um, the invisible code and it's it's not the one that I first thought it was but I have ended up f um, finding it in some way and so it's now using it this other account I can actually show you show you the other account and I mean you can still see me here and I, I you can still see this account and the other account actually isn't a member but I've used a laugh code on it to get it 65 laugh legitly <laughs> as in legit uh, even though it's not member no 64 laugh and um, also I added a number a number of cogs killed feature because it was getting to the point where uh, I really wanted to know how many cogs I've killed so I added that feature in and it's not exactly accurate it's only approximate it's impossible to tell exactly how many because it's checking the animation you do and you don't necessarily do the you don't necessarily do the victory animation every single time you every single time you kill a cog so it's not something that you can really uh, it's it's not something that's really hard to that, that's quite it's not something that's easy to find the number of cogs you've killed but it's useful if you want to make sure that you don't get on tune uh, tune high scores or whatever just to make sure and yeah so i can show you that feat that thing now Let's see you go I've just made my other account invisible. I don't want to, this is this here's my members account. I've blocked out this thing here because I don't want you to see it. <laughs> because I don't want it banned. But um I'm actually on the same world as my members account. You can you can just hear it going off here. If we just go there, there it is, just there, same cog, killing it in exactly the same place. But can't see it. Impossible to see. Completely invisible. And this even when you die will continue to work. Now at the moment it says I've killed forty four cogs. Um, I've actually changed the calculation a little bit since the last one. See, for some reason now it's seeing the victory animation a lot. Sometimes it doesn't, so I've changed the approximate calculation um, a little bit to make it have a little bit less than... Because at the moment it's assuming that you've killed two cogs in the time, but I think it's more like 1.5 cogs to the amount. I don't know. It's, it's, it's something that I'll probably need to work on. But yeah, um, I was now going to show you on my main tune here. What, how to train tune up. So you stop it here. Now my main tune is quite a high, decent, well, 60 laugh. And, uh, it got a decent gags, I guess. That was, this was all using the, um, the code that I made, or the, the gag trainer. And so now I'll show you how to use tune up. First, it's probably going to be in. Okay, I'm going to go to Law by HQ when I use this because if I don't, Law by HQ is definitely the best to do tune up training at. So, what you want to do is you want to set your secondary gag to tune up, and you want to set your first gag to throw, and you always want to use level 5 tune up, so always use custom levels because you can't use a group tune up. I forgot to explain properly that. Um, a tune-up will only work with level 1, level 3, and level 5 gags on tune-up. Because um, tune-up group only works, so level 1 is, no, level 2 is a tune-up group, level 4 is a tune-up group, and level 6 is a tune-up group. And so will not work on yourself. And so if you want to use it, make sure you use level 5 and use custom levels. And for the best method... For the best XP methods, you want to use 
the highest, um, so say you're level 2 tune-up, you want to use level 1 tune-up, and you want to use it at quite a, a quite a um, big, uh, quite a high level if you're level, okay, it's so level 1, you're probably good using it sell by HQ, and you want to use level 1 pi at the same time, because you want, don't want to kill these guys instantly, and for level 3, you probably want to go maybe to same, probably stay at uh, sell by actually, and then for level 5, you want to go to Lawbot. Definitely Lawbot. Unless you're below, like, 30 health, and then you want to go to probably Cashbot. But yeah, otherwise, it's really good for training XP, for training. And this is, this, um, approximate number of cogs killed seems to be working quite very well right now. And so, you can continue on with the video. Then you set level 5 tune up. And I want to use a level 3 pie because then I get the most tune up XP per round. Oh, I've got to run away this, this guy. So let's let's start. Tune up XP at the beginning was 5,953. I'm probably going to get. See, it's it's healing me and with with um thing and killing the cog at the same time. And I'm not dying. They might be able to recognize that I kill this thing. Let's just see. Do I get juggling balls this round? Which I could potentially. Just because of the amount of these things I get. Oh. See, there it didn't recognize that I killed the cog because it didn't do the animation. And from that I got 50 tune-up XP. So yeah, perfectly works with tune-up. Make sure you update. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.